my timing was a little bit off, and then, uh, you know, he would catch me in between shots. Was the timing off because of the layoff, or was the timing off because he was just so much better tonight? Um, it was just, just better tonight. You know, I made no excuses. His timing was, his timing was a little bit more better than mine, and the shot that he did land, I didn't see it. He, 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 he threw the jab to the body, and then came over top of the fast right hand. So it wasn't so much of the power, it was, it was more so the timing of the shot. What's up, y'all? So that's the video of obviously Earl Spence and uh, <clears throat> uh, Stevie Fulton, right? And make sure you win the first five hours of your day. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's like the evidence is out there and like y'all, you have to come to grips to the reality of it. The reality of it is it's on purpose. The reality is if there's only one thing people should be attached to, and that's the truth. Not people, not personalities, not profit margins, the truth. And everybody, most of y'all, oh, I believe in something, right? You believe in God, you believe in Jehovah, Allah, Buddha, but you really don't. You believe in people. The reason why you believe in people is because I have presented irrefutable data. And it's just going to be fun when the fighters, when they retire, they're going to be like, damn, yeah, it was a bad deal. They probably locked into some deal and uh, they probably owed a lot of money. They probably owed some fights, probably on the contract for another two years, year. So they don't really have the liberty to speak because they signed the contract to protect themselves and provide for their family. So... And they didn't know. Al Heyman is done with you Negroes, man. He's done. Fred, what are you talking about? Remember, y'all got paid more to fight on free TV than to fight on pay-per-view? <laughs> y'all remember that? And since I believe, I don't know this to be true, but oh, many of PBC fighters, I believe many fighters at PBC have elevated contracts. You do good, it goes up. You do bad, it goes down. Um, and because the, the 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 financials aren't there, he needs you to lose. He needs you to do it his way and or lose. And Al Heyman's way is... Um, To keep him in business. But nine out of ten of y'all, well, at least seven out of ten of y'all, if I was your best friend and I said, man, I was out with Dre and I saw your girl with another dude, you want to fight me. <laughs> no, I ain't right. No, I ain't right. Why you tell me? <laughs> I get it, though. That's why I've, I've come to grips that, you know, my video is only for the 1%. And that's fair. I get it. I'm enjoying this journey. Mm -mm. Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence says, you ain't got to thank me for making this fight. Crawford said, you ain't got to thank me. We did it together. So the first part of the negotiations... It wasn't Al Heyman and Steven Espinosa. And then Crawford and Spence agreed to make the fight. Somebody got to speak up and speak out and save these younger fighters. That's what I'm going to challenge all these older PBC fighters. Are you going to speak up and save the next generation of fighters? Because you are in a position of influence and power and you have you still have a little bit of leverage with Al Heyman. I don't know how much, but... And now, all the PBC fans and media got to appreciate Bud Crawford and Canelo now. You won't see any, any, any Canelo slander now because it affects Al Heyman's bottom dollar.
They want to be in good graces with a man they'll never meet. <laughs> kind of like the nation of Islam. Yeah. You'll never meet Elijah Muhammad. He's dead. <clears throat> Y'all emotional right now. You read the title and got emotional. <laughs> <laughs> You bitter watching right now. You're wasting your time. You should be trying to make some money. But while I got your attention, I'm going to tell you how stupid you are. You're stupid. You overvalue in the sport that don't value. Only thing boxing wants to do is monetize you. sad all the pbc media and even the bud media that feel like they won and they're excited it's about adsense it's not about the truth it's about adsense i'm gonna tell you how it's not about the truth three weeks ago no, oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. That was only a week and a half ago. It feels like a month ago, though. Um, a no way won. And you know what people said? You know way versus Tank. <laughs> Tank won't even fight a 135 pounder. 122. Come on, y'all. Y'all not making sense at all. Isn't that called, didn't Tank call that clout chasing? And now, it's another narrative. Tank versus Crawford. <laughs> that's the PBC media, man. It's the PBC media, man. It's, it's, that's what it is, man. Isn't that called clout chasing? Don't Tank say, keep my name out your mouth? Oh, why y'all mentioning Tank? AdSense. PBC narrative. <laughs> too easy now. It's too easy. Chickens are coming home to roost. I'm going to be the lone man standing because I accepted the truth. And that's just the reality of it. It's my sister called me. She in the back house. My sister's here for the weekend. Hmm. <sighs> what y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do, PBC maniacs? When the truth run wild on you. Earl Spence is an afterthought. Now, now Deontay Wilder was your, was your king. Y'all not fighting for Wilder to get a fight date. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn got Anthony Joshua two fight dates this year. Bob Arum got Devin Haney two fight dates this year. Deontay Wilder said last September, hmm, I want to fight three times next year. How many times has he fought? I believe Wilder getting blackballed. I'm the only one speaking out on it. I'm the only one that got the courage to speak out on it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't right. Something, 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 something just ain't right. <laughs> I'm gonna go at this. You clicked. It. You was. You was. You subscribed to me, and you don't like me. And there's nothing you can do about it because you look forward to every video I draw. <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do. I understand the game. I'm going to 
I'm gonna get this workout in. I think my sister wanna go to breakfast. So I'm gonna do a part two to this a little bit later. I think my sister, she wanna go to breakfast somewhere. So we'll, we'll rock out and do it like that. So I'm gonna do a part two. Um, but yeah, inactivity. And it's not by accident, it's on purpose. How the hell every fighter? Don't forget about Marcus Brown, y'all. Don't forget about Amir Khan twice. Don't forget about Sean Porter against Sean against Terrence Crawford. Don't add. Count them up. Count it. Count it. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I gotta go have breakfast with my sister. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.